Hi guys, welcome back to this week's video. Give this video a like, subscribe, turn on post notifications, comment below to the next, and on to the video. Well guys, I'm gonna be a little bit low a little bit lower of my for my with my voice because it is twelve in the morning. So yeah. So today I'm gonna do some questions that I just wanted to you know, show you who I am. Like, I already did part one for this. It's like a part two, you know? So if you want to see part one, the video is, excuse me, the video is in my, in my, sorry, it's, I'm sleeping in. In my channel, I'll say link below, but then I don't know how to do that. So, just Google my channel. Like, it's 21 questions. So, yeah. Um, anywho, let's start, I guess. So, okay. Number one. Um, which would, which would you rather do? Wash dishes, mow the lawn, Clean the bathroom or vacuum the house. I would want to do, and I do do this, the restroom and wash dishes. I mean, it's because if I we wash, we don't wash our dishes. We wash our dishes when each person. So there's no like dishes in the dish, like in the sink. Sorry. So it's like obviously we don't do that. Um, I already do that so. And then the restroom, I do that. And then the vacuum one, we don't do that. We have, like, floor. We don't have, like, um, rugs to do that. And then the moan the lawn. Moan the lawn we already have the gardener do that. So it's like, if you could hire someone to help you, would, you, would it be with cleaning, cooking, or yard work? Well, we already have yard work, but like if I would do someone else, mm, would you cleaning or cooking? Mm, probably cook. No, probably cleaning because I love cooking. So it's like I like to do it by myself. You know. Um, number three, this um. If you could only eat one meal for the rest of your life, what it what would it be? Um, probably um probably um, I don't know. That's a hard one because I love food, like any type of food. Um, except seafood. So I don't know. It probably would be ramen because my dad would make the bomb ramen like with mayonnaise and um egg and it's like oh my mouth just is watering just thinking about it um anywho who is your favorite oral sir mm, i don't read that much but i'll take this as Kid, I'll put who's your fam favorite author as a kid would be Cat in the Hat. I don't know why, but like the person that made the Cat in the Hat, I don't remember the name of it. Have you ever had a nickname? If so, what is it? Well, I have multiple nicknames. One of them is Rafa for short, and then Nano. My sister calls me, Ali calls me that. Because when I was a kid, I would be shorter than her, so that. And then my co my friends call me like my cousins. Mostly are my cousins that call me Rafita. Um, and then my friends call me Rata because of, I don't know why, but there's only a few people that call me that. Like my closest friends could call me that, but then like my distant friends can't. So yeah. Um. Number six, six. Do you like or dislike 
surprises why or why not i like surprises because i don't know like it's like oh like you don't expect it because it's like oh you get like all happy about it so numero seis numero siete in the evening would you rather play a game visit or slash visit a relative or watch a movie and mm, i rather visit relatives because it's like i talk to my cousins and everything you know so it's like i like talking bonding with people like family number eight would you rather vacation would you rather have a vacation in hawaii or in alaska and why um i would do hawaii because i love volcanoes like i love volcanoes if you guys don't know me don't know about that i love volcanoes um and i don't know i like hawaii it's just i love her i don't know but number 20 numero nine sorry <laughs> number nine um excuse me would you rather win the lottery or work at the perfect job and why i would rather have the perfect job because you will like doing what you do number 10 number of the A's, would you rather win the sorry would, would, who would you want to be stranded with on a desert who would say let me repeat the question who would you ra oh, sorry who would you want to be stranded with on a desert island if it's like famous wise selena gomez but if it's not selena gomez i'm just kidding no um like if it's like my family or like friends i feel like my family because I can't live without my family yeah mm, on say number 11 if money was no object was no object what would you do all day what if money was no object I'm guessing if like the money didn't like was valuable or anything I'll probably just I don't know. Do nothing. As usual. Oh, damn my hair. Um, numero doce. If you could go back in time, what year would you travel to? Um... It's probably the year that my dad passed away. And like, be more like, um, like with him those years, like that, like the few months that I had with him. And prepare myself to be like, knowing that he's gonna pass away, if that makes sense. Um, 13. How would how would your friends describe you? Wild and loud, <laughs> pretty much. Number fourteen. What are you? What are your hobbies? I like hiking a lot, but usually I don't do it because of COVID right now. Walking on the beach, dancing, singing. More outdoor stuff, like, yeah. Number 15, what is the best gift you have been given in my life? I'm just kidding. No, um, object-wise was it was, um, obviously I don't remember, but now it's the best gift. It was because, like, my, my um, my uncle gave me a necklace when I was a little kid, but now it's sentimental because it's like, my uncle is not here no more, so it's like, I have the little piece that he gave me, if that makes sense. Um,
Number 16, what is the worst gift you have received? Um, so one time, my ex, well, not like ex, like, let's say girlfriend, um, gave me, I don't know why, but she gave me a, a marble, and that's pretty much it. I mean, I liked it more because it was like, oh, she didn't have to give me anything. But then I'm like, why just one? <laughs> one marble? Like, why not like a bunch of them? Just only one. I don't know, but yeah. Um, 37. Aside from necessities, what one, what one thing could you not go a day without? Mm, my family. Pretty much. Um. The mm, eighteen list two pet peeves. People being rude to other people with no reason and um racial comments like people are like oh my god you're such a Mexican is like. What the fuck, like, you know, like, yeah. Anywho, I don't want to, okay, 19, where do you see yourself in five years? Probably alive, probably, hopefully having a job, hopefully starting nursing school or ending nursing school, who knows? Um, 20, 21, sorry, where do you, like, where do you see what was 20, so now it's 20, sorry, no, now it's 20, how many pairs of shoes do you own, like, if it's fancy shoes, only one, but, like, a regular basis shoes, like, um, mm, or, but now I'm throwing them two of away because two of them are like not good no more. To excuse me, no, like they're ripped. So technically now it's gonna be two. If you were twenty one, if you were a superhero, what powers would you have? Um, in my last video, I said flying, but now I want to do, like, teleporting because you could charge people. Also, like, flying, you could still charge it, but, like, teleporting is just, like, boom, and you're going to have to jump for, like, to, you know, but, um, pretty much that. Mm -hmm. 22, what would you do if you won the lottery? I'll probably buy my mom a house. And invest on like something good to get more money out of it, if that makes sense. Number 22. You guys like my singing? Um, <laughs> anywho, number 22. What form of public transportation do you prefer? Air, boat, train, bus, car? Um, air, I, I mean, I don't know, like, what do you mean air? Like, air, like, it's an airplane? Because technically, it's not a public transportation. Well, yeah, actually, it is, what, well, airplanes, because I love traveling and everything. But I can't because of COVID, so. Um, 24. What is your favorite zoo animal? Uh, myself, I'm just kidding, um, probably a penguin. 25. If you could go back in time to change one thing, what would it be? 
probably. No, not my accent. I was gonna say my accent, but then no. Probably losing my dad. Um, twenty six. If you could go, sorry. Now this is twenty six. If you could share a meal with any four individuals, living or dead, who would it be? Four individuals probably would be. Selena Gomez and Selena Castellano, I can say it. Um, Martin Luther King and Rosa Park. Um, how many pillows do you sleep with? That's number seven, twenty-seven. How many pillows when I sleep in? I sleep with three, but before I used to do it with two. Um. Number 20, what's the longest you've gone without sleeping and why? The longest I've gone with sleeping and without sleeping in a full day. Well, technically, like, like the day since I started the day to, like, the next day. It was, like, probably 24 hours, I think. Yeah, like, 24 hours. It was because I wanted to just try it out to, like... See how it was. Number 29. What's the tallest building you've been to? The top in. Um, the tallest building. It's like fifth. It was, it was in LA. And it was like. I went to like the. 49th floor, so like, pretty much. Excuse me, 30. Would you rather trade intelligence for looks or looks for intelligence? I'd rather have, like, be smart than look pretty. I don't care if I look ugly. I'll be smart and rich. Number 31. How often do you buy clothes? Like, every two months, probably. Um, 22. Sorry. 32. Have you ever had a secret admirer? Yes. Story time. If you guys want that story time, comment down below. Anywho. 33. What's your favorite holiday? Um. New Year's? Is that still even a holiday? If it isn't, um, probably Thanksgiving. Probably. 34. What's the most daring thing you've ever done? I asked um, a girl to give her number. But then, that's, I mean, that's just boring. But, yeah. Well, actually, I, nah, that's not, yeah, that's pretty much it. I'm boring. Sorry, guys. 35. What was the, the last thing you recovered on TV? Recorded on TV? Um, I don't watch TV, so. 36. What was the last book you read? The Giver. I don't know if you, I don't even know if they still has like a library, but that was my last book and it was super good. 37. What is your favorite type, favorite type of foreign food? Chinese food, I guess. Um, 50, 37. What's your favorite, oh, sorry. 38, sorry. Are you a clean or a messy person? Messy person, for a fact. 39. Who would you want to play in a movie of your life? Eh? Who would you want to play in you in a movie of your life? I don't know. Nobody, myself, probably. Um... 30, 40. How long does it take you to get ready in the morning? Not that much. 
sixty sixty sorry thirty one what kitchen appliance do you use very day every daily I don't cook six thirty forty two what's your favorite fast food chain panda forty three what's your favorite family recipe don't have one forty four do you love or hate Roller coasters. Um, hate. I don't like them. But then I would just go for it. But I kind of don't like it. Um. Forty-four. Do you love? Sorry, forty-five. What's your favorite family tradition? Um, every Christmas Eve we open up the gifts instead of like. Christmas Day. I was like, oh, you know. 46. What is your favorite childhood memory? Um, I remember me and my dad playing outside. And yeah. 60s. Sorry. 47. What is your favorite movie? Um, Coco. Forty-eight. How old were you when you learned Santa wasn't real? How did you find out? What do you mean Santa is real? Um, forty-nine. If is your glass half full or half empty? Eh? That's a weird one. So, 40... 49. What is the craziest thing you've done in the name of love? I went out to and stay night to, like, the whole night with that person. Um, 50. Excuse me. What three items will you take with you on a deserted island? Um, phone. Well, not my phone actually. Um, yeah, my phone charger, obviously, because you're gonna have to charge it. And water. Most people be like food, what is? <laughs> but then. If you think about it, if you're in a deserted island, that means you're in an island and you can have water. Well, you're not gonna, well yeah, technically you can have water and food there, so you just cut bottles, cook fishes. Duh. Okay. That was 50, huh? <laughs> yeah. So, um, I'm gonna end this because it's long and it's already late it's literally 12 31 in the night or in the morning so <laughs> so guys if you're gonna if you guys like this video give this video a like if you want me to do a story time about the time that of my love life or the time where i went for a long time ago with the person um yeah guys so comment down below what next video should i do so and see you guys next time bye guys